everybody and welcome to Hot Shots TV. I'm Scott Briard and you're watching another episode of This Is Darts. Monday show, let's do a quick recap of the weekend. Some big events Saturday and Sunday over in the UK. I believe it was the Scottish Players Championship. Um, Saturday found Wes Newton uh, beating the field and a tough field it was. Uh, America's Gary Mawson went out first round 6-4 to Matt Clark. Uh, John Part, third round loser, did play well, only lost 6-5 to Dennis Priestley, but Wes Newton went on and took Saturday's match. Sunday went to Colin, uh, Colin Osborne actually, not Colin Lloyd, but Colin Osborne, Unicorn Dart sponsored Colin Osborne, 6-4 winner. Uh, John Part I think was out second round with a loss 6-4 to Peter Wright. Gary Mawson, uh, another hard fought 6-4 loss in the first round. Um, but with all the great names over there, it's probably a spectacular weekend of play. Um, as well this weekend, we had a chance to get out Saturday night, celebrate a mom's birthday, and where else would we do it but at a dart event. Mom has been happily helping to run um, an event, actually a league dad started back in the early, early 80s. I believe it was 82 or 83 we calculated on the weekend. Um, over 80 players out this past Saturday night up in Guelph, Ontario at Mini Lakes in the pavilion there. Um, I did capture a bit of video of it. A lot of people certainly enjoying their time. Many retired. Uh, it's a great thing for them to get together on weekends to do. We surprised everybody showed up with a nice big cake. Our little guy Josh made sure everyone got a piece. Um, had a great conversation with a lot of people I hadn't seen for a long time. Uh, Mom certainly enjoyed it. Uh, while I was there, I had a great conversation uh, with a gentleman that's moved up that way that was originally from the Brampton area um, and we spoke and I think we missed each other back in the 80s. He may have left playing Superdivision uh, late 80s just as I was entering Superdivision right around 88, 89. Um, but we spoke about a lot of great friends that we both had back in those years. Uh, some of the players we played against, some of the events and the pros, we told a lot of good stories. But the gentleman, uh, John Leonard, um, I actually, this morning, rifled through some old newspapers. So at Darts Digest from way back in October of 86, I found you, John. I knew you'd be in one of the old magazines. Uh, pictured here with the Region Appeal champions. They were in um, a fundraiser out in Oshawa, I believe it was. Uh, waging a war against uh, muscular dystrophy event. Uh, the Peel men's team winners, Ronnie Gardner, John Leonard, Dave Peters, Jeff Sword, Nigel Hyde, Ed Oliver, and Tommy Ledbetter. Uh, many, many great names in the Mississauga area. Uh, I believe Dave Peters might be one of the only ones that are uh, that are still playing around the Super Division, although Tommy Ledbetter, I hear you might be back. Nigel Hyde, um, I do know, is playing down on Hensel Legion, but they were great, great players back in the 80s and 90s. Many of them top eight, top four in the Canadian Championships. I know Nigel placed there. Dave certainly traveled the world playing, but there you are, John. I knew I'd find you in one of these magazines. Uh, now, I believe, happily retired up in the Guelph area, and again, playing league with Mum and all of her friends on Saturday nights up in Guelph. So it's a great chance for all of us to get up there, uh, for my family to get up and enjoy some time with all of you up in Guelph. Thank you everybody, we had a great time on Saturday night. Now, as you noticed last week, This Is Darts was completed. A few other little links need to be added to it. Um, but there you will find updates of all the shows will be posted. Um, links off to follow us on Twitter, Facebook that we're just getting to uh, getting to properly connect so that our fan page there. And remember, as I said last week, let's get the, the fan page up over 100 members. We'll fire off a nice $100 check to Darts Ontario Youth. Um, and I think we're going to quickly build from there. So when we get to 500, um, I'll have another great announcement for what we can do with 500 members. But get on there if you're not already a fan of This Is Darts on Facebook. And we know most of you are on Facebook, I believe. Uh, Calculation right now is one in four Canadians are on there, and in the States it's sitting at one in eight are on Facebook. So if you're on there, make sure to sign up as a fan of, uh, of Hot Shots, um, more particularly of This Is Darts. Uh, let's get the, the numbers up and let's get some money donated to some great youth programs. Um, Got to give a quick shout out to all my great friends that are in here Saturday from the Milton Garage League. Uh, these guys have boards up in many of their garages around the Milton area. Uh, spend each, week, each weekend at a different different home um, playing some darts and we had a group of you in on Saturday trying out some darts 
um, and I told you I'd, I'd say hi to you guys on the show. Um, a lot of diehard diehard players out there, and I'm starting to really feel there's a lot of passion for this game again. Um, it, it's out there, and it's great that we have a chance uh, to see a lot of you here through the show, through the store, and to communicate with you, obviously, through the show and touch uh, touch base with all of you. Uh, so also on thisisdarts.com, our swag sh section, uh, shirts, I believe there's hats, coffee mugs, a lot of great things on there from a manufacturer. Um, I think they're down in South Carolina. Cafe Press provide them logo the, the shirts and such on there. Uh, send them to you as you order them. So we'll have a lot of those uh, sent up to us shortly. Um, so we'll be able to put them on the show, let you know what's available with the, with all the great This Is Darts logos. Um, Tridents. Remember, I want some feedback on these. Send emails to scott at hotshotscanada.com. If you're using these, uh, we definitely want to know what you think. We've got a lot of players in purchasing them, saying it's making a big difference. Uh, their flights are lasting longer, uh, and they're really noticing that they're not getting such deflection. They're having a chance to group the darts closer together. So if that's happening for you, definitely send me an email. I definitely want to know uh, to know more about it. Um, can't thank Chris White enough last week for a quick interview with him on Thursday. Uh, Chris, we, we can't wish you uh, um, all the best for upcoming events that you're playing in. Uh, you're a true, true sportsman um, and a fellow Canadian. So you're doing great down in the United States. Um, and I think we're going to see more from Chris in the international circuit uh, and probably doing some damage over in the UK uh, within the next few years. So, Chris, congratulations uh, for all that you've achieved so far. Well, that's it for a Monday show. It was a big weekend for darts. Again, thank you to everybody up in Guelph. My family had a great time visiting all of you. Um, I caught some great footage for it. And I hope, uh, I hope today, Monday, for wherever you are, you're enjoying weather like we are here. It's uh, plus 19 this morning here in Toronto. I think we're 10 degrees above, uh, above average. So wherever you are, hopefully you've got some nice weather as well. Everybody, as always, send feedback, comments, uh, post below either on YouTube or now at This Is Darts. Send me an email anytime with any information, scott at hotshotscanada.com. And as always, everybody, have a great day.